Hey guys, welcome to the um, ERP Next series. Okay, this is part one that you're gonna learn how to set up. Okay, so you didn't need to prepare anything. You just make sure that you have very quick internet connection. You download the virtual box for free from virtualbox.org and then install it and then you follow the instruction in the video. Okay, let's enjoy setting up ERP. <laughs> Okay, this is to set up the um, ERP next with the virtual box, you know. Okay, on of you, you can just download the virtual box and install it. Okay? The virtual box is in the virtualbox.org that you can get it for free. You know, you can just go to the website and then you can download and then make sure that you install. And then when you want to go to the ERP next, you just go to erpnext.org slash download. Yeah? And then you can download the 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 virtual machine, okay? they're going to tell you the default username and password. Okay? So you can just uh, select the production image and then the file is allowed 1.5 gigabyte. Okay? And then you can use the tool in your machine to do the MD5 checksum to check consistency of the file. Yeah, okay, so after you download, yeah, in order to save the time, I download already, and then I'm gonna have 1.5 gigabyte file in my uh, in 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 my machine. Okay? so I save it in the location already. So what next? Yeah, I just go to the virtual box. Okay? When I finish uh, install the virtual box software, they're gonna have the the windows and then in this window you can just go to import appliance and then select the the file that you just download that is the OV, ova file uh, that costs around 1.5 gigabyte however the good thing is that this file if you just do something wrong with your file they still remain the same uh -huh. So you can just uh, delete the virtual box and then do it again. Uh -huh. So they just make a copy. So at this moment, after you try to install, they gonna create a new virtual machine file in your in your system folder. Uh -huh. You can change the file and then you just click import. Uh -huh. And then wait for another three minutes. Uh -huh. Something like this one. Uh -huh. They they gonna uh, finish it very soon. Okay, so while we are waiting for this file to to uh, uh, change to the the URVM file, okay. So 